I'll say that the other thing that the show tries to do, which is obnoxious and ties into the weakness of what Enterprise is at its core, is that the runner that Archer and T'Pol have is that T'Pol is appalled by how humans are acting in the 21st century, where they're eating Mm. meat, they're punching each other when they need to find out information. It's a lot of moralizing about stuff. And my understanding of the setup of Enterprise is that they're not that far removed from Earth at this Mm -hmm. point. So going back in time for Enterprise to present day is the least impactful time travel that Star Trek shows can do really, because it's the least amount of jump into a distant past that is not all that distant. To Paul might've been alive during this period of time in earth history. Um, It's just, I really hate that moralizing and it stuck out again. It stuck out in something like um, North star, the Western episode that we watched where at the end, Archer's lecturing this guy about, we don't have bigotry anymore. It's like the whole point of the show is that you're a prequel who you're supposed to suffer from these things. Like what is, what is right. enterprise if you're not going to embrace that idea and to have it here, just be like that neutral zone episode of TNG where the characters are just like laughing at the characters from the 20th century who are like, we don't have money dickhead. How dare mm-hmm. you come into our, like our world and tell us uh, like things that need to happen. It's like, what's stupid moralizing about nothing. And I don't know. And also it's a 9-11 allegory pretty explicitly, this story that their only way they touch upon it is the guy goes, I thought they might be terrorists. Right. The, the guy Loomis yeah. thinks that the Zindi are terrorists. It's like, mm-hmm. that's the, that's the depth of your take on this. There's no allegory. I saw, I saw the shiny purple suits and I immediately went Afghanistan. <laughs> If I find those shiny purple, I check the plates. How do you? It's the show is so scared of saying anything. It doesn't say anything ever about yeah. about the topic that it's talking about. Like, I mean, maybe you could say it would be too. Um, it's too explicit. Archer Archer goes back in time and is appalled by how modern Americans are talking about Islamic terrorism, and he's like, "Oh, oh, this is how I feel about the Zindi. Like, that's yeah, a terrible sure. thing." They don't, they don't do anything. They don't touch anything with any kind of point. It's just Archer running around with a phaser in 2004, spying on Zindi who are building a bat signal to send a virus into the air. Yeah. Um, I, I have to assume this episode is just a money saver because they could shoot it on a back lot somewhere. And you know, there's, there's four people in the whole thing. Right. Although, I, I mean, they did, I don't know, they did do a lot of exterior shots with cars and shit, so maybe it wasn't as cheap as I think it is. But um, even if that's the case, that doesn't mean it can't be about anything. You know, if anything, it should make you be work the priority. To make sure that, yeah, yeah, it should be the priority to make it worth doing instead of whatever this is, even though it has Jeffrey Dean Morgan in it. As one of the Zindi. Yeah. Yeah, which I, I forget where I saw it. It might have been on the Discord. Somebody just recently posted a quote from him saying that being on Star Trek almost because of the makeup almost caused him to stop acting. Yeah, he did. he was he's claustrophobic and he hated the makeup, I guess, mm-hmm. and didn't and considered quitting. It was an early role for him, so he just took it as a a thing to do, but uh, freaked out quite frequently because of the makeup, which does look pretty claustrophobic. Um, he's not doing anything in this. He's just no, one of no, the no, generic no. Zindi is yeah. him. I don't even couldn't tell you if it's the last Zindi standing at the end who. <laughs> who knocks over the vial and Archie goes no and just grabs it before it rolls over the thing. Yeah, terrible, yeah, terrible the, Zeke. The Nicholas Cage in the rock shot yeah. of him diving over to grab the <laughs> VX gas before it not as not as not as uh intense as that. Also, also the plan. He was just gonna dump it into like an exo- like a, a fan. A venting fan. Yeah, a vent fan. <laughs> What's the I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, I guess when your back's against the wall, you got to do you got to do something. That's yeah, the best you could do. But no, it's like the the vent fan of a pizzeria or something. Yeah, he was about to. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I. Uh, I yeah, it's. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this episode because it's just like I said, it's just a waste of time. It is a waste of time. I mean, 
I would, I would, I would agree with you that if you think this episode is supposed to be saving money, this is the wrong approach to that. I think that the way you maybe save, like the the way, you, fundamentally, I think that the show at this point has not done anything to explain the Zindi in any kind of way, and so their plots always just seem like they're random plot of the week type stuff that we're getting sucked into. Mm-hmm. And if you just spent an episode with the Zindi or you spent an episode just with Archer talking about the Zindi or something like in his ready room, I feel like you accomplish more than this, uh, really going back in time needs to be about something. And this one is just so empty and devoid of what that means to the point where the Zindi going back in time only raises problems for the storyline in the future about like, what can the Zindi do at this point? This is, it's truly just a misfire on every, every level. I don't have, I, I really don't have much to say about it because it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a point to it. Right. There's no, there's nothing going on really. In it. It's just, it's just an empty, strange, weak episode in the middle of a Star Trek season. That's tied to a serialized story. that doesn't go anywhere. And it's kind of it's kind of summed up by Trip at the end, where they've only been gone for like five seconds, yeah, in Enterprise time, and it's like, oh, well, I guess that's over. <laughs> <laughs> Got well, something to show you, Trip. Thing, yeah, I got a some Ninja Turtle ooze here. I need uh, flocks to look at. <laughs> 